for the drivers, which were, was causing a lot of mis mis pickups. And it also, uh, it, with the, the growth of the city that we've had, it, it doesn't recognize these new subdivisions or these new roads. It uses uh, Google Earth, I think, for the from the you know from their images, and then uh, it it doesn't update in time for what we have the whole subdivision built in. So, it, you know, you got new roads in there that it doesn't even recognize for the rest, which created more confusion for our drivers. Um, and then adding in the, the new carts, um, we were, we've were we gone back and forth with right where with the new residents, you know, they they would put some in and then we'd have to put some in, which is, was really time consuming for us, which also delayed our new customers from getting picked up because it wasn't updated in a timely manner. Um, and then just the the way that the routes were sequencing from the route where it it actually was creating longer routes versus what was more efficient routes to run uh which all that contributed to everybody knows we had a lot of phone calls and stuff complaints you know for the sanitation um so kind of this, our short-term uh, solution was uh, currently we're we're still using the route where for the cameras, like I said, the documentation to take pictures and, and that sort of thing. But we're running the routes the way the drivers basically know how to run the routes, which is in and out of the roads and, and even with the new roads. Um, and then um, we're still monitoring the like how long it takes to go to the landfill. It tracks that for us because the route where it does some good things, it, it produces some good doc data. Uh, that that's useful for us. Um, so we're so we're still using it for to to track our trucks, you know, through our GPS. Look at their idle times, you know, if somebody's just you know taking too long of a break or something, or and the time that it takes us to load and unload at the landfill, we're able to ca capture that. Um, so um, so I think by doing this and. I know from our end, and I'm hoping from the Maryland as well, and council, you're not getting the complaints and the phone calls that we were getting before. I think our, but <coughs> our short term solution is working, I feel like. But, you know, we've invested in right where it, it is a, can be a helpful tool for us. So, you know, we're looking at how do we fix the issues. Uh, so, uh, I've reached out to right where, and there's Murfreesboro actually uses the same system. Uh, and I spoke with them, the the guy that's over the, the sanitation up there. Um, he said it took them about a year and a half for them to get this system to work the way that they wanted it to work. So versus kind of where we just jumped in feet first and here run with it. Um, we're going to take, we're actually going to take, um, you know, a route at a time, go through it with a fine tooth comb, you know, make that route work and then just do baby steps into the process. I've got a meeting set up with uh, with Murfreesboro and a guy from route where they'll be flying in. Uh, I think it's second or third week in March. I'll have to look back at my calendar just so that we can discuss, you know, the issues that they've had, the issues that we're having. What did they do to fix them? You know, and, and, and that sort of thing. Um, so, you know, that's. That's basically kind of where we're at right now with the with the sanitation. And that uses you said Google Earth as a yes sir. as a route planning yes sir and then it wouldn't so, be anything that they could use rock maps which yes. would be more up to date and and we we Kevin could even in RT can probably even speak to this but you know it, it what I'm saying it, it's not compatible. Right? So, so, so what's the, one of the issues is. is with with Routeware, we get we we're giving them monthly updates, address points, uh, and center lines to to uh, put in the to put in the system. One of the problems is is with the geocoding, um, you know, with our address <coughs> points, they're already geocoded, uh, but we have to give them to them in a spreadsheet that they then have to re geocode themselves for some reason which we can't figure out uh, so this is causing an issue uh, no matter what you know i mean we we've, we've already done most of the work but for some reason their system can't handle it um, and we 
have to give them a, a static copy every, you know, every month. So that's why Mitch and them are having a, a, a lag time on new new houses coming in, new address points coming in, new roads coming in. Um, we're we're adding stuff so fast that yeah. we can't, you know, the way they're set up, we can't keep up with it. They can't keep up with it. So um, and then as far as Google Maps goes, uh, we've offered, we, we actually have a subscription for uh, it's a company called Near Maps. Uh, they do uh, yearly updates for us. We just got one a month ago, but they can't take that data either uh, for our aerial photography. Uh, so, you know, we're kind of, hmm. we're, we're, you know, we're, we're doing everything we can. It's the limitation of the software. And these are all issues that you brought up at the very beginning. Yes. And tried, and, and tried to spearhead all of this. And they just said, we couldn't use it. We couldn't do this. And this is what we use. And, and so here we are. Is this, this route where, is this a, uh, was this paid in full, like when we purchased this software, or is this we also pay a monthly subscription? The, 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 the way the way I understood it was it was uh, uh, like like Mitch said, it was a monthly, but then there was, like it was an upfront cost for it, and then like a, a monthly slash yearly cost for it as well. You know, going moving forward because this this seems like to me like you know in most businesses now you run into these problems with third party vendors, you know. You guys are in the sanitation business. You're not in the IT business, right? So, if the software you purchase doesn't work, then you know I would imagine that there's some sort of contractual agreement saying that it should work based on these set of parameters, or you know, otherwise there's perhaps some pushback. You know, you may be able to get their attention if you look at the contract and the way it reads. I don't know, but it sounds like they're having some issue, similar issues in other municipalities. I like the idea you've already reached out to see what they do differently or, or how <coughs> they got through this problem. But I hate to, I don't know enough about it, but like this this near near maps, you know, we're essentially sounds like paying for a different mapping service trying to improve the existing software we have because it's mapping service is that poor. Is that, is that correct? Is near maps basically to supplement Near, map, near maps is just an aerial photography. It's just for aerial photography. It's just it's basically Google. Google on but if, if the route where it worked appropriately, would we have it, to purchase we the near map? It, but it, it, all it would do is just provide uh, an updated aerial view of, uh, of subdivision uh, and everything. It wasn't just routed for you. Gotcha, gotcha. That's where the the uh, uh, center lines. Uh, information and the address points come in. That's how we route things for uh, for people. It's similar to how we're doing it with the uh, for the police and fire departments. Gotcha. Uh, and nine one one. So is it pretty common to have both of those working yeah. together? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, we tried to utilize the nine one one data from the beginning because it's already it's already created, it's already provided, and we get that information anyways. And that's what Kevin was saying. So we had to take the nine one one data. And then reformulate it, reconfigure it so it would work in their system rather than take the data and say, oh, we can just consume this and use it. There's a lot of manipulation with it. So yeah. that's where the big lag time is and the issues mm -hmm. come up, as Kevin said. So. How shells communication with the route here? Well, we don't deal with them. We, 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 were, we don't deal with them. I mean, all we do is once a month, that was, that was how we were asked to handle it uh, previously was um you know just provide updates for you know the, the center line data and the the address points, uh, that um, the other departments would handle handle the handle it themselves is there, is done a great job. absolutely yeah. Mitch has been great. Yeah. 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 a great job trying to help oh, really? any of these problems the pushback you get from the route company <clears throat> you know, you're getting so a route we have this data town, right he's coming to this meeting we we have said from the get go, and, and again, this is not me. This is nothing with, with Mitch or, or currently here. <coughs> we'll support it as much as you want us to. And, and and previously, it was asked that we just provide the center lines and the the, the address points. And that was it. <laughs> I think you know you guys put your heads together, figure out who needs to be at that around the table. 
have a meeting of the minds because I you hate to see a system like this trying to create workarounds because um, it, now it sounds yeah. like you guys are. I mean, we're using it, but not to its full potential, and maybe not getting the support that we need from Routeware. Um, well, the meeting is going to be fruitful. I think Kevin yeah. and mm -hmm. others should be in attendance to that. Yeah, One thing, that yeah. in our company, we we reinvented our technology and surveying, and invested a lot of money just like this, and things weren't working right initially. We went back to our contract, and what they did is they gave us credit <laughs> lines for them being involved in this year, year and a half or whatever to get the system up and running. Even though there wasn't our original contract because they don't want that bad reputation from a yeah. municipality yeah. this level. So I would, I think you really need to get everything y'all got going on in that meeting with that one routeware guy and even request somebody big from routeware to come down. But yeah. this is your meeting to be able to get make, move to make it work. Right. Yep. That's yeah, and I think Similarly, the IDT, that electronic plan review software that we've had for, I don't know, four or five years now. When we found that Shahadna that used to work here, we went to the city of Franklin and we were talking to them and they were, that's what they use. And we leaned on them pretty heavily, which is why I'm glad Murfreesboro, I wanted to know if there's somewhere close by here. I think Franklin that uses, does route where they, they may. Um, and so I'm I like, is there some any of our neighbors using? using this because we won't be the first people or the only people that had growing pains with it trying to figure it out. But the way we did IDT, we unrolled it, we rolled it out slowly. We kind of, you know, we practiced with it ourselves. We did stuff ourselves and we started adding um, one certain type of project or one project and we let the engineering company know we were going to have them, you know, you get to be a guinea pig and yeah. right. And so we kind of rolled it out and it sounds more like what happened with this is we just dove right in and here, we're going. We set this. We set July, whatever it was. This is the this is the day we're doing this, and we just you know threw into it, and we didn't give times to kind of work out some of the things. So I don't know that it's all Rattler's fault. I think we we needed to vet it out a little bit more before we just jumped right in. So we're trying to back up, which is what we've done, and figured out. And uh, Mitch and Tim, they you know they've tried try to catalog what our issues are that we're having. We use Lee Clark a little bit um, at the beginning of this because his his can had gotten missed two or three times. And so we looked at, pulled it up on the system and tried to figure out why is he getting missed? And we figured that out. And it's got to do with the, the geo code. code that's mm -hmm. not dropping pins where they're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And some of the routes overlap. And so one truck driver, they would see Lee's cart, but one truck driver, it wasn't on his, his route list is picking it up and and same thing with the other, and they thought that the other person was gonna was supposed to pick it up, and so it was getting missed. Um, so there's stuff like that, and plus just the way the routes are set up, it's making them it's take, it was taking them so much longer. Council had to approve a big um, budget amendment, two or three, yeah, and it was a lot. Good chunk of it was for overtime, um, and, and we're, we're now they're the routes now early on time. Overtime's pretty much gone away for the most part, getting some stuff done back on our trucks that we need to be And if the done. system was working correctly, you should, it should, shouldn't be that. There should be a little growing pains where the guys are getting used to and accustomed to following it. But if it was working right, it becomes where it's easier. Like IDT, we all had growing pains with it. It was, wasn't fun at first for anybody that was having to use it, the people that worked here or the uh, consultants that were you know submitting to it. But one, now everybody loves it. We're not passing papers around. Um, from hand to hand and writing down review comments. Everybody can look at it all at the same time. So this will work, I think. We've just got to get it um, where it works for us. Personally, I think y'all are too efficient. We're getting get my can a lot earlier than I used to. <laughs> yeah. Not getting out of time. I'm not going to. 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 I'm that's a highlight pin on the map. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Your address. laughs> Put the cameras on there, then they can tell. You know, we call and say, oh, you didn't pick up my camera. No, 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 I've said it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> we have to, we, we have to move on. We have to move on. Yeah, good. Yeah, I, I could skip a week. That's good discussion. Thank you. Yeah. Good. Um, 
Next item, uh, item, <coughs> item, item number three, water treatment plant. Yeah, so JC, um, he had a family emergency, so he's not here, but he sent me a few notes. I'll just kind of skim. There's a lead service line inventory. It's a new that's come out, and he, the city of 2024, to, we've got to have good inventory of everybody in our system that has lead pipes, galvanized line, which requires replacement, not lead or unknown. And then in, on all the unknowns, he's, they've got to go back and later be identified. Um, so it's a huge undertaking if you think about the fact that we have, we fall into having to do this because we have over 50,000 customers. Any water jurisdiction that has that has to do this lead service line inventory. So he has a few um, seasonal spots in the water plant. JC is actually taking the lead on this. He's getting a lot of help from GIS and the water distribution crew, but they've actually got to go. And um, they're starting with the oldest lines first and going to work forward um, with current, you know, our new subdivisions. Um, not going to go into all the details yeah. on it, but it's going to be, it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of manpower to get it done. But he does have um, some seasonal employees in there to help spread out some work because they're going to end up having to go make house calls. They've got to look at the interior plumbing plus the exterior plumbing. Um, so the customer side and the city side and all that has to be cataloged in this spreadsheet. So it's huge, huge um, undertaking. Um, whenever he gets the public outreach portion of it ready, he's going to reach out to the um, mayor. And I guess we're probably going to ask that um, at one of the city council meetings, we make you know kind of an announcement about it, that it's coming and to be on the lookout for it while we're doing it, while we need it, because the more cooperation we get on the customer side, the less works for our employees. Are we going to redo those lines? Or are we just going to know where they are? Mm, we've got to know where they are. I don't know that the city has to redo them. Um, I don't know that he's got that in here. You know, Steve? Yeah, so that's been, <clears throat> this has been a debate going on for the last two or three years with this lead issue and so this all comes about due to the flint michigan uh, problems that occurred and so the first stage is is identification uh all everything up until this point that i've been involved in everything that's been talked about in conferences and stuff has been that ultimately the epa is going to force everyone to get rid of all leaded joints so that's so the reason copper's in there, copper itself isn't a problem, but in, until the mid-1980s, the solder used on copper pipe had lead in it. So if you can't prove that you have non-leaded solder on copper pipe, then technically you have to, you're supposed to replace those pipes. Now, there have been some theories put out there about providing notifications to the homeowners. If the homeowner, uh, give the homeowner an option to replace their plumbing, have the city replace their plumbing and then add a surcharge to their monthly bill, you know, for a certain period of time, or the homeowner signs some kind of a waiver, uh, you know, releasing the city from any type of, of liability or anything that occurs. Uh, that is still not 100% worked out uh, in my mind uh, in regards to, from a regulatory standpoint of what's going to be allowed, this first step is uh, what we're dealing with right now, which is getting an inventory in place. Okay. And expect copper it, and lead. copper, lead, galvanized. Yeah. So, and expect that it will continue to evolve because really old cast iron water lines and asbestos water lines and stuff, some of those were repaired with lead pack joints and stuff over the years. So, this is something that EPA, now that they're on this, it will continue to evolve and continue to. Uh, make some very expensive requirements for, for water systems. That's commercial and residential. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those services probably. Wow. That's going to be big. <laughs> we going to get, get any all. federal funding for that? <clears throat> As of right now, there's not any federal funding for the biggest lead for the city. <laughs> okay. I like said inventory now, action's going to right. come later. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, we're having to hire seasonal employees and taking the time. I mean, yeah. this, is, this is actually the easy part. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of things that get handed down by TDEC and 
different yeah. government factors unfunded. Oh, unfunded man. I mean, just, even yeah. the stormwater, um, you know, when that started 20 years ago or whatever, all the stormwater requirements as far as water <coughs> quality goes, it was all, you have to do this. They didn't yeah. help you do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. We'll move on. It's a good discussion. Uh, we've already addressed item number four, I believe. Previous discussion. Uh, item number five, Barton's Creek Sewer. Uh, Regina, you want me to yeah, go through these engineering just real quick? Yeah. All right, I'll just go through all of them. Anybody stop me if you have a question. Uh, Barton's Creek Sewer, contract A is under construction. Uh, contractor got started. They stripped topsoil in areas where the bladder pod had been identified. We are getting ready uh, as part of the agreement with Fish and Wildlife to have the which starts in March will be the uh, second bladder pod survey to identify where the bladder pods uh, begin blooming. Uh, the contractor has been sloped down some, as we talked about last meeting, I think uh, people were just talking about uh, railroad. It's my understanding that the railroad should be ready to have a meeting with uh, Cleary later this week uh, and sign off on Cleary beginning to push that bore uh, under the railroad. Uh, and then TDEC, uh, last fall, when Roy and I had a meeting with TDEC and Arcadis, uh, everything was fine on the site. We had the uh, meeting, uh, the pre-construction meeting with TDEC, and then TDEC was all worried all of a sudden. And so uh, the contractor has hired a third-party consultant to monitor the water quality in the ditch uh, for the groundwater. Uh, and TDEC is requiring that that groundwater be discharged to the sewer system uh, so that it can be treated at the wastewater treatment plant. So uh, wastewater plant has put together a temporary pre-treatment permit. Uh, and so we will uh, get all of that in place once the initial plan uh, by the contractor's uh, consultant is in place. So we're leaving all of these costs with the consultant. Uh, they will come back with those costs and change order to the contract so that the city can then take those funds that amount of money and go back to ZF and uh, require ZF to pay for that since ZF or TRW is the one that polluted that groundwater and has caused this additional cost on the project. So, uh, any questions on, on the Barton Creek job? All right. Uh, Merceboro Road sewer extension, that's under construction. The board's been put in place. Uh, Conrad is setting the first manhole today. Uh, don't see any issues with that. Should be in place well before uh, time necessary for any of the uh, ongoing development uh, for the park uh, to be able to tie into. Uh, Highway 231 water main replacement, that job is under construction. We have a little over a thousand feet installed uh, per TDOT reg rules and their permit. They are uh, setting up to begin pressure testing and disinfection of that line, the first thousand feet, uh, which runs from basically Taco Bell up to the bridge. Uh, once that's tested, uh, then they will begin tying over services. And then once they're done with that, then they'll continue to proceed to the north. Uh, TDOT actually commended uh, how well the city has done and the contractor in not creating a traffic disaster uh, along that road, David Smith did. So uh, don't know what, we don't know of any, any complaints. We feel like we're, everybody's doing a pretty good job there uh, thus far. They're pretty good. Yeah. So uh, William Street Water Main, we had the pre-construction conference on that yesterday. Uh, that'll get started. That's a 240-day contract to bring a 16-inch uh, water main down to the uh, what we call the William Street uh, Water Booster Station. Uh, once completed, that will allow us to increase the amount of water that gets pumped south of the interstate and allow for some uh, uh, ability to reconfigure some pressure zones uh, to, to help some Areas up in and around the fairgrounds, but that'll that'll be a little while. And uh, see, generally, you know, just from mayor's business, area that's run slow. But somebody's in front yard, so I will be ready. Uh, Beard Avenue, yeah, we're uh, we're actually going down uh, one of the lanes of Beard Avenue. We're taking uh, and replacing the water line adjacent to the existing water line about five feet off. We'll end up uh, once that's done, uh, we will resurface the entire road. We have all that worked out with Kristen and Regina. Uh, beforehand just to resurface that entire road but uh, we do we do come down through Beard Avenue and then we get over and cross over and actually come through the fairgrounds property and 
Uh, I think this was the last job Tim Graves designed <laughs> mm, all the way on. back in 2017 that's finally going under construction. So, uh, but if anybody's interested in it, I can send you a set of the digital plans if, if you want to see it. Go back to 231. The, the sidewalk down there talked about after the water line got laid, you're going to put some sidewalks in out there. Is that we, uh, we applied for a multimodal grant and we didn't win it this year. Okay. We didn't want to pass it to here, so it wasn't our year. Yeah. Yeah, the sidewalk, we're actually in our, that 231 line. It's actually out in the shoulder of the yeah, road. So when they build a sidewalk, there shouldn't be any issue, any issue there. And then we're trying to set the fire hydrants back far enough to, to keep them out of the way. So, um, Sewer rehab and pump station. So we did bid a sewer rehab job. We only had one bidder. Uh, we determined that we felt like that was because we put the pump station rehab and the sewer line rehab together. We've done that many times in the past uh, and had no problems, but this time it seemed like the line contractors didn't want to bid the job because they were responsible for a, a, pump a large pump station as well. Uh, and so we talked about that. City Council voted to reject all bids and we're breaking that project apart. We're going to put the, uh, with Regina's permission, we'll put the sewer line rehab back out uh, for a bit here in a week or so. The pump stations, uh, talked to Regina about adding the Glade Pool pump station, or what you might call the Stewart's Ferry Pike <coughs> pump station, into that work as well because of the failure uh, of some equipment there. Um, so that'll, depending upon what we do there, that'll uh, follow his, uh, his rebid. Uh, Summercrest pump station, that's designed. Uh, there's some issues working out. Uh, property acquisition, but once that is all worked out, then, then the design for the Crest pump station is complete uh, and will be able to go to bid. And then uh, College Street Alleyway Project, uh, Regina, you done. It's an IDT system. Mm -hmm. Let me check right quick and I can see how many people are left to review it. We'll get <coughs> comments back to you, get you yeah. and then we'll um, address them. And, mm -hmm. And then we'll be ready to get that one out to bid too. Okay. How many more quadrants will be left of the square? Well, really, that's two of the four. The other two have a creek running on them, so it's a little more, a little different. <coughs> no alleyway behind those two, really. Yeah. Right. It's like there's still several people left to review it, but the deadline is um, March second. So this week, we should have comments back to Steve. Jenny, you mentioned real quick we're out with the contract day on Bart Street. Contract day. Contract day. We've got an agreement that Jeff and I keep meeting with Suncrest about. And with any luck, um, we'll have it ironed out and ready for approval at next Tuesday night's council meeting, which I guess is March 7th. Um, once we've got that done, we'll be able to get contract B um, notice to proceed issued and get that one moving. We do have... Um, Copies, Jeff, both signed agreements from Old Smith and Good. from Suncrest for the original <coughs> agreement. And so once Suncrest's amendment to that agreement's done, we'll follow behind it with an Old Smith amendment to their agreement. They've already let us know verbally that they'll, once we're good with Suncrest, that we'll just modify that exact agreement to fit their property and that they'll, they're going to be okay with it. They don't anticipate needing to have lawyers look at it multiple times. Um, before they sign. So that one will happen pretty quick as soon as we get this sun crest. And it just happened it happen today. We they need to get it to us today until we can I mean try it's a couple well, of we told them right. that two weeks ago Same. to get it to us today for the last week's council. It goes up tomorrow. Meeting, so. We want the council what y'all get tomorrow council to be what we believe is the correct. So we'll we'll see. They can do one sense and fix it, I think. You know. I can appreciate y'all sense We're trying. But our patients are getting thin. Yeah. <laughs> Very thin. <laughs> Easy to work with, right, Jeff? Yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, super easy. <laughs> <clears throat> well, that pretty much wraps up the utilities report. Appreciate all the updates on that. Uh, I think at this time uh, we want to bring back up the election of officers and also uh, wanted to give everybody a heads up. Uh, this meeting is being broadcast live on YouTube TV. So, uh, don't know if that's going to be about pass. over. A good time to tell them. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if that's if that's is that going to be continued. We're not sure what? how or why, but we got a text. We'll go at a different.
Okay. Okay. Not sure why. Next time we'll tell him to come and tell us that so we know. Okay. Just come tell us. <clears throat> but um, this time, let's bring up the election of officers. Uh, do I hear a motion, a uh, recommendation for chairman and vice chairman? Two year terms. I think recommendation they stay the same as they currently exist. I second. I that. second. <laughs> I think Yogi said he did not want to be president or chairman another year or two. Yeah. He's been it for three or four years, right? Yogi he served it for three or four terms. I don't know what the terms have been. I think, I he's think been he, he too has asked not to be. I thought he is asking you to. Tom, are you, one of y'all will step up. Are you willing to remain as vice chair? Sure. I've served the chairmanship for quite some time. <laughs> Jody, you were the only person I believe I've served chairman since I've been on this board. So. Kevin Horst says you need to nominate somebody, okay? That's how it works. Nominate somebody. Clint or Steve, okay? We'll let you know. How about you're, we both you're, give it both to them? We'll have a chairman and a vice chair right here. You're much more qualified than I am. That's, okay. that's for sure. <laughs> and we will help you quite a bit. Answer, Benny, they'll help you out. We'll help you out. Steve, are you willing to take the chairman? I, I mean, I'm willing to take it if you give it to me. I guess. Well, you're lucky than Yeah, Steve. Bill's already decided I got plenty of time. Just plenty of time. That's fine. All right. We'll make uh, Steve chairman, um, vice chair. That's the motion. In seconds. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, uh, opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. No other comments. Thank, Thank you. 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 Motion to adjourn. Second. 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 Yep. Favor. Uh, yep. Opposed. Motion adjourn. Normally they're recorded and they they send in a file for me and I can get it to you. But I did the from us. So I'll give you the best I can do with it. And don't get that. You see that? And I'll get yeah. I have a chance. So don't worry about it. I'll do it. And then the next one. But look, the real thing people, people are trying to post it. Just make sense. Right. Make sure. sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll make sure because I'm always, sometimes they forget. I'm on the bottom. I'm always like, where is it? I'll make sure. Concentrated on other things like a yeah, I don't know if talk about all this stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're retired. But there may be meetings where I can say, like, next week, I'm going to be a little bit of 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 Between mine and your notes, I'm sure, and I may not even have to respond to your notes, but um, I'm not going to read them. Because they gave the handout. Basically, just to talk about it.
Seattle. Yeah. 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 That's just my only fear on that. No, yeah. Okay. Well, I, 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 I just put that yeah. There's no question. That's, that's, that's the state trying to limit what citizens do. Yeah. 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 Ye
Hold on. They just going to I apologize for coming up like what I didn't see you inside. <laughs> Red line that. Red line. <coughs> Yes. Oh, oh, yes. 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 Start acting. What's this point? There's an opener, mate. This sit around stuff. They try to stop. What do you know? Stay with me. If you think I need to go, just push it. He's like, okay, we got to get this over. The only thing, only thing you could do is just that's, well, that's set some kind of tentative <coughs> schedule here. As far as well, we got utility issues to figure out, you know. For example, well, we, we got a road map. We got a road map. We meet him out there, or He's coming. Already? No, you know, Sarah, we're meeting here first. Uh, well, Sarah's not going to be here, but she's got doctor's appointment. Yeah, so she's, we're going out there, right? I mean, I'll be on site at 10 o'clock. Okay. Yeah, no, He's going to a bar team right now, so, yeah, we either. I know we checked on Well, I'm just 9 o'clock here. I was about to, whatever. You can be here with your schedule. I'll be here. Well, we do, we do go separate and go together. You got to go somewhere else when you get done. Where you got to I don't know. If there's there's a I'm going to have to go separate. I might, I think I have lunch. You got somewhere you got to go. That's right. We're supposed to be medium on We're going to with our team with us. Our, we can call our team see where, they, where, they, where they're going to be. Hey, I got lunch in the middle. Okay, so so if you need to take off before I take off, just call our team see where they're at. Okay. We may be medium. I want him to be If you roll, but you really can't get in right there. But I think we're going to get a jet pile. Okay. Because you can get in a jet I'll go big one, right around the whole window, for the, uh, you know, in our RV side. Okay. Glenn, what you up to in here? Oh, uh, we're supposed to be having a meeting. We don't have a meeting, all right. You're in that meeting's already. <laughs> there are no initial meetings. You sound like you got a little bit of a you ready, Glenn? Yeah, yeah, that can say something like that. Uh, she uh, yeah. uh, I see. Uh, uh, business. Uh, business. Uh, so, 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 uh